Hello, everyone. Um, have a nice day. So this will be the um quick recording or a review re regarding with our topic, especially for the implementations of the linked list, the stacks, and other particular cues. So by the way, class, as uh let let's try to um go ahead and work on first pertaining to the linked list um, implementation. So with our linked list implementation class, always remember that we do have the head node or the start point. You will always put um, the head, um, for example, and connects that into the specific um, particular node, for example, like that. And and insert and that will really end with a null um by the way then so that will be um how does it really work especially um pertaining to the linked list implementation so for example if we were um certainly experience a like you want to insert a specific element for example you have here the element um one and also you want to also implement or insert number two then and number three afterwards we'll be going to um delve with that so first um from your head point um say for example here uh this will be our head um and then that connects to your um ten and it should be in a in a node and connects that into the next one and that uh, you will insert the 20 um something like that for example then afterwards it will be connected to 30 i'm so sorry because i don't have a pen um in my trackpad so that's why it is really um i'm struggling a lot so that connects to the now afterwards. So in our linked list implementation, we can certainly input, um, do the insertion at any given index or at any given position. For example, if I might want to, um, I might want you to input the number. For example, I want you to input a certain number into a specific, um index level for example uh insert a, in our particular <laughs> link list here i want you to insert in the end uh at the index number two which is element 40 for example something like that so that means you will have to always draw that um step by step class it draw nyo gina isa isa ha head um node from 10 um for example then 20 after the 20 it will connect to it will be connected to the 40 before you will connect that into the 30 node so that will be the link list representation looks like and don't forget our now um point in our link list so that's how it work in a link list and for doing the deletion for that it will be the same as is that you can all also delete at any given index given um any position for example it might uh depend uh, on the instructions i'm um, given as well so if you will be going to want you to delete the index number um one so you you can uh, delete uh, delete this certain position and if i want you to delete the specific element which is the 30 so you will randomly do the um linear searching and before doing the um deletion for that one. so i guess hopefully um it will be good and uh understandable for everyone hopefully that you really understand um everything regarding with the linked list operations so that will be really simple um since it you will matter in the insertion and the, the deletion for that one you will matter into the specific position where we will begin to implement the specific um or operate the specific function for example i want you to insert at the given index or given at a uh, start end or in the end point 
it can uh, lead to that. Uh, it depends on the instructions given. So it will be simple. So there is no need to track um, front, rear, something like that, since um, that will be linked list. So let's move on to the implementation of the stacks um, afterwards. So for our stacks, uh, let's try to review. When we say stack, uh, as what I've mentioned, that that is following the LIFO method, which means that uh, in our stack, for example, this will be um, always remember that uh, the stack looks like a vertical, so which means something like that. So, for example, we have here the container, which, uh, for example, our max size of our stacks is the max, um, for example, would be um, number, uh, for example, three size, maximum size. So that means your stacks container can implement only up until the three, um, I mean, can only contain three elements at a time. So regardless that um, you uh, do have a lot of operations um, being implemented right there, as long as it returns all writer is it is equals to the maximum size, then your queues, uh, I mean, your stack size is really equals to the maximum size, which is three. So therefore, you cannot do any insertion anymore. So um, if you want to delete, then the ele the the element in you uh, I mean element in your container will be three already so you can do the deletion for that and that means you can only insert or perform the deletion at the top level so what will be the top element um you follow still this the indexing from zero to n a uh, method so what will be the element into your stack so you will be going to just perform the operation so for example in our stacks we are um, doing here, we want to insert the 10, 20, 30. So the same as this for that one. So now, um, in our maximum, uh, in our container, so for example, in a first step, so don't forget to initialize that um, at first, that our initializations, in our initialization step, um, the top element will be um, your top is equals to negative one. That cer uh, certainly signifies um, that our container contains no element uh, as of the moment. So in the first step uh, afterwards, you will be going to insert the number 10. So one step at a time. Huh? So the second step, uh, you insert the number 10. So that, that means our top element right now is located in our zero index. So that's how... Um, simple it is. It's really um simple to do that. And after that one and the next uh, in the next step, <laughs> for example, after you insert the number ten, you will insert number twenty. So you will draw another, then insert an uh, twenty. So into your container, always make sure that um excuse me, uh, having a um. What do you call this one? Cold. So the top element right now located uh, at, uh, at the index location, which is number one. So that means when you insert 20, that's the top element is in the index one already. So when you insert the number three, uh, 30, I mean, that will be the next step or uh, then. So 10, 20 and 30 so something for uh, something like that and then so that means our stack right now is already full so that means uh that top index is already located at index number two so um if you will be going to check the is full operation is it full right now for example so that means um your current size your stack size or i mean your stack element size right now uh, is it equals to the maximum size yes if yes so return true if not return false that's how um simple um i know and stacks so in that operation for example in this step right now we want to insert another 40 so since we wasn't able to remove any element yet so therefore 
when once you will insert the number 40, you are unable to do the operation already. So that means uh, you have to perform stock overflow. You need to perform, um, you can print out stock overflow instead. Since, of course, due to the fact that um, when you will be going to um, encounter in our stock class, we will matter that into your um, stock size. So in your stock size, since the stock size uh, is it uh, is it is excuse me is really equals to the maximum size already so that means you will return the stack overflow that cannot operate any insertion um into your stacks container right now now if i want to delete um if i want to pop for example sorry pop will be the <laughs> method for deletion and push for your the insertion. So if I want to pop one time right now, so therefore we can remove, we remove the number 30 in our container. So that means number 10 and 20 element will be the only element will be remain uh will be um left into our um container is right now. Now if I want to insert another 40, so you will check here if our current size, if our stack size, if it's equals to the maximum size already then. So since that uh, that is not equals to the maximum size, therefore, we can still insert number 40. So that's how it is really easy. So for is empty operation class that only um, check if um, the container of your stacks, if it, uh, if it does not uh, contain any elements. So... <clears throat> For in the initialization uh, initialization step, that means our stack container don't have any value yet. Now in this one, um, in our stack class, in every operation, don't forget to always make sure to put the location of our top element. Where is it located? Um, in that particular step, you have to draw that step by step. Um, if you wasn't able to draw it perfectly i mean um what i mean is if you wasn't able to do that um draw that in a step by step manner it means um the problem is in you uh yours you will really face the consequences afterwards so if you have any clarifications with that you can definitely um ask uh, me anytime before the examination now um let's perform the next example here then um the next step uh which will be um i mean the next particular element um what i mean is the uh, i will begin to perform already the uh, go this one um i know and q so from our queue, we do have uh, we do have a lot of example for our uh, types of our queue, right? So we have the simple queue, the circular queue, the priority queue, which is specifically the ascending order, the descending order. I'm so sorry. It really um it's actually so bad to experience um even cold. Now um anyway. Um, let's move on to the simple here. And afterwards, um, I will begin to also illustrate up until the input and output order. Uh, I mean input and output restricted um, double-ended queue. Now, in our simple queue class, it is simply following the principle of this uh, principle of FIFO which means that you can insert or you can do the deletion um in a in a designated order um so in our first in first out as what i mentioned to you that you can definitely perform that into the um queuing system for example when you will begin to pay a um, tuition fee into the carry, uh, cashier's office, accounting office, for example, something like that. That's a queuing system, for example. So now, the first um, customer who goes in, that will be the first element, um, will be deleted first. 
So that means in our queue, this will be a vertical, uh, I mean, horizontal type, something like that, uh, the container looks like. So that means it is a contiguous, um, something like that since we are implementing that through array. So be mindful that we can implement through linked list as well and be um, can observe and that we will be going to just implement that through array in our examination. Now, um, we will begin to still use the same problem, maximum size and equals to three and 10, 20, 30, just to NQ. So NQ will be the method that we are um, that we um, use to call when we insert element and the Q will be the method for removing the uh, element. So be mindful in our, um, in our Q, that we can only insert at the element uh, at the rear end, which is in our tail point, and we can only delete at the front end. So that's how it works in our simple queue. And of course, class here then, please do remember that uh, when you do in a simple queue, um, always be mindful that our simple queue is a um, dynamic size, which you can still use um, the you will not matter into the indexes um, class. You will matter into the element size. If your element size, if it is equals to the maximum size, therefore, that's the time that you will be going to perform the maxim, uh, maximum Q over limit or, I mean, overflow or something like that. So now, let's try to check what, uh, what I mean. After that one, let's try to perform the same thing. Uh, let's insert the number 40 afterwards. Now, uh, we have to initialize the front and rear position regarding on that. Both the front and rear initialization step will be both negative one as what I've mentioned to you. So since that only signifies that there is no value yet being implemented or being inserted into our um, container in our queue. Now, let's move on to insert the first element, which is the 10. So when you insert the 10, you insert that at the end point since there is no value yet in our container. So that means... Um, 10 is uh, actually located at the front end, which is zero, and rear end, which is still zero. Since that is considered as a front end and it's considered as a rear end for, um, as of now. So do not put here one on rear since your one don't have any value yet. So be mindful with regards to that. Now, excuse me, pertaining to our simple queue, um, you will do that in every step as what I've mentioned. So the next step, you will insert the 20. So you will insert at the rear point as what I've mentioned. So you will insert here at the, that given position and you will also identify where will be a front and rear location. For our friend, uh, front location, that will be, uh, you can found, uh, find that, uh, um, I mean, sorry, into the zero index and you can also um, check the location of the rear end, which is a 20, at the first index. So please be mindful regarding on that. So after that one, you will insert the number 30, for example. So you have to implement that step-by-step -step incrementally um, class. Please always be mindful regarding on that. And during the examination, please be careful because erasure means wrong. And of course, regarding here, um, for our front, and once you include the number 30, your front end still, since the front will be here, so that means still zero as of now. And for our rear end, since that will be here at the end point or the tail point, so that means our rear end location right now is two. Now, um, since our element or container is already full, since the element size is equal to our maximum size, therefore, we can implement already if we will be going to check the SPOOL operation that will implement through statement. That means our key, uh, our queue is already full. Now, if we will be going to in queue number 40 as right now, we cannot insert that here um, since our element, our queue size right now is really equals to number three. So you have to put a condition about that, that once your queue size is already equals to the maximum size. Therefore, you print max um, Q is overflow and you cannot insert any um, element in that certain um, stage. Now, in this one, if I want you, uh, if, you if I want to be Q, 
since we want to de uh, we can dequeue at the front end so therefore in the next position uh, in the next step we will uh, you will remove the number 20 so that means um since that is dynamic um your front index will not go goes back into the zero index so for our 20 um that will be um 30 and then that uh, can be located into the uh, your front end you can locate that at index one already then your rear position will be at the number two then so now in that um, certain step right now uh, you can picture out that our q size uh, i mean our q um container right now is not already full since we already dq the element so here in that step if i want to insert the number 40 right now therefore we can um already insert that so in that position we can insert the 20 30 and 40. so be mindful that as what i mentioned uh, since that is dynamic class you cannot um use the zero index anymore since that will be simple cure see uh and of course you can um increment the location size uh, i mean the location of your index that means you can still use the, the fourth fifth and sixth and so on to the end now um your front end that is located at zero index and your rear in uh location okay uh, no 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 let me correct so, uh, stay corrected with that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you was able to um see something. Now, um, your index location as right now is number one, and your index location here will be um number three. Then, so if you can picture out one front end and rear is number three, since we uh insert our element forty at the number three position. That's how it works in the simple queue. So it means that you can use the nth index um, as long as it does not um, it does not um, what we call that one <clears throat> what we call this was a not able to um, Uh, what I, what I mean, um, your Q size is not overflow yet. So I'm so sorry for that one. Um, something uh came up um my mind. <laughs> All right then. So that ends with our lesson for the simple Q. That means you cannot um use this zero index, but you will use the end index. Um, increment and increment as long as in the sha ma um equa um as long as hindi pa siya overflow ang imong Q. So um, if your maximum size, then when you check that, compare that into the Q size right now, Q size is equal to the maximum size. If it's still, um, wala pa siya naka labag, or I mean, still follows, um, wala pa siya naka, ano na ganit man, ka nang nakalabag sa imong agin implement na location, or I mean address, or I mean maximum size, um, that means you can still, um, do the operations um, for that one, okay? So now then, uh, that's the end of our maximum uh, maximum size, Kakaron. <laughs> that's the end of our simple queue. Um, let's move on to the second type, which will be the circular queue. In our circular queue, it will be different then um, since it will be ex exciting for you, everyone. So if you can still, um, if you can still remember those um, um class that we were was able to explain everything so let me um explain to you this one carefully so now um class for the circular queue let me just end this one and re-upload um re-upload a new video since um due to the fact that um zoom will really limit a um amount of time so let me end from here and let me create another video. Let me uh, stop the recording.